a little bit about your background for the people who don't know. You were a Navy SEAL. Or are you still a Navy SEAL? I was. Seal? Well, once a SEAL, always a SEAL, but I'm not actually employed by the U.S. Navy anymore. So uh, I spent 10 years in the SEAL teams, yes. Okay, and of course, like you specialize in all these um, getting out of situations like that. It's one aspect of our, our capabilities. Yeah. What, what are some of the scariest things you've done on the, while on the road? Oh, man. You know, there have been so many different injuries, significant, um, uh, almost catastrophic things. People have been evacuated out of the jungle, um, evacuated out of uh, Panama. Um, I've had camera guys quit and never come back uh, in South Africa. Um, I came face to face with a, a pride of hunting lions um, and the producer has lost control of the situation and it almost went terribly awry. Um, you'll have to watch that episode to see what happens, but uh, there are some, some pretty bad things that happen, but it's it's real, it's genuine, it's exciting. I do it all over again. The man that you are, you're, you're like a genuine American hero. <laughs> I'm, I'm just a dude, man. <laughs> I am just a Mark One motto dude. I've got a lot of friends of mine that are heroes, and uh, and I go visit their gravestones all the time. But I'm not a hero. I'm just a dude. Right. I'm sure you've you've come uh, you've you've come face to face with a situation where you've had to catch something to eat. I mean to survive. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. What is the some of the, what, what, what is the weirdest or the scariest thing you've had to mm. catch? Well, the scariest thing I had to get probably the most intimidating dinner I had was uh, a three meter boa constrictor. You, you take whatever you can get because the difference between my show and a regular survival show is that a survival show, survival is the point. You can take all the time you need to find your water, to catch your food, to, to build your, your, your bed, to create shelter. I can't. I'm being hunted. I'm on the run. I have to keep moving. There are dudes with incredible assets who want to own me <laughs> for God and for country, you know? And so I have to, uh, I have to just take what I can get. A lot of times that's grasshoppers as I'm moving through, or termites in South Africa. You can break off a bit of a termite mountain and just eat them as you move. Oh. Uh, or edible plants, if you know uh, what you can grab, you can just grab things and chew on them. You, I mean, you do stunts as well. And you did just stunts on the video game Call of Duty. Yes. How was that? <laughs> well, Call of Duty has been, I'm still working on the Call of Duty franchise. I can't, um, you know, give any details, but if you play Call of Duty Ghosts, you're playing me. Uh, and a lot of the uh, uh, cutscenes and the cinematics, I I did all the, the motion capture for them. So usually, you know, the, all the reloads and the shooting and the moving and the crawling, that's all, I did all that stuff. So it was just been a lot of fun. I love working with those guys. And,